Nowadays, many things around us are done using hand gestures, sliding a page, zooming, and so on, which makes the user's life easier. So we implemented this method to be used in car radios instead of buttons and knobs. Our focus was to minimize the driver's distraction by suggesting a new way of interaction that will keep the driver's focus on the road and his hand on the wheel. We suggested a set of gestures to be used for turning the radio on or off, raising or decreasing the volume, also switching between the radio channels. Detecting the hand palm is done by finding the contours of the image. To get the contours, first we have to segment the image to detect the skin color, and after that check the convexity of the hand which is done by calculating the area of each contour. Check the contour convexity by the convex hull method. And finally, check the output convexity defects. We have faced three main problems in our project. The first is how to detect the motion of the fingers. This was solved by changing the segmentation color from the skin color to the blue color and mark the fingers with the same color as C. Then the second problem is how to eliminate changing the channel with the volume at the same time. This was done by dividing the screen into nine quadrants as seen and disabled the corner quadrants to eliminate the simultaneous change between the volume and the channel. The final problem is, when raising the finger up to raise the volume, you have to move it downwards and upwards again to raise the volume one more time. By doing this, the volume will be decreased with the same amount as increased. This was solved by making a reference point, which is the center quadrant. In order to raise the volume, the motion has to be in the second quadrant from downwards to upwards. And to decrease the volume, the motion has to be in the 8th quadrant from upwards to downwards. Same goes for changing the channel.